Hey guys, what's up? It's Vlen here, back at again with another Overwatch book review. Today we are going to be reviewing the a, a book called The Crying of Lot 49 by Thomas Pynchon. Uh, today my special co-star, co-guest, co-host with me today is... It's me, Sati, or better known as Radiant. Yeah! Can we get a round of applause? Nice! Uh... So, <laughs> shit. So, <laughs> this is where I get a little fuzzy. The very start of the okay, review, because that's not a good start. <laughs> it's, it's been a bit. It's been a bit since <laughs> I read this one. But you know, the the backlog's really big. I know we promised the Moby Dick review like eighty something years ago. Yeah, okay. but it's still coming. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, it's we still like the, 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 we never like it's coming. It's coming for real though. You know, it's, and it's gonna be magnificent. You know, we're getting our documents together. You know, figuring everything out. You know, it's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. But for now, we're gonna settle with this book. A little bit about the hey, author. I'm, I don't know about you, team, but I'm in. Where's oh, my team? I died. Yeah, I died. I was in there alone. I killed the bastard. No one came to help it. Well, bro, you know. Would you rather come in the sink or sink in the cum? You just sunk in the cum. I'd rather, dude, I'd rather sink in the cum. <laughs> you would rather sink in the cum? <laughs> yeah, bro. Well, I mean, you know, agree to disagree. Okay. Yeah. So, the, 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 this, this year book, written by Thomas Pynchon, I don't know the year, don't ask me. It's a, it's a, uh, what year does it take place in? Let me read the back, maybe it'll have that on there. Uh, 2019. Nope. Uh, yep. Doesn't. You just wrong. Okay. Okay. I've. Uh, it's one. Of, it's like. I don't know. It's. 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 It's one of those years. You know. It's critiquing <laughs> some of those years. It's it a satire of some of those years in American society. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. About. You know. It's about California a lot. Like Southern California. A little bit about the author. My man Thomas Pynchon. He's well known for being like a reclusive little dude. Um, I've read a, one other book of his, Gravity's Rainbow, which is probably the one that everyone knows him for. Uh, 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 uh they nailed me at the worst time, no, I don't know, I can't do anything. I'm it's dead. Flying characters. There's too many <laughs> flying characters, bro. Yeah. Oh man, we're being fucking stomped, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, Thomas Pynchon, he like writes books or something like that, I don't know. That's, sure? that's, re that's really all I have about him. Yeah, I read one other uh, book of his, and then I read this one, and um, I liked this one. Now, usually in the past, I don't get out number reviews, and so I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, I agree. I'm not going to give out a number out of stars. You see, the big problem with stars reviews, okay, do you go for the four out of four kind of stars, like the four star reviews? Because those, those are classy, you know? Do you go five stars? Because, you know, th 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 those those are, like, the most used, I'd say, five stars. Or you go for the ten stars, which is, like, kind of the most modern version. It's hard to pick a star system, which is why just I don't really like system, to do stars. Bro. Oh, my God. What? Just pick a system. What did you just say to me, bro? This is my review, bro. Bro, I'm the co-host, bro. You know, honorary co-host. You could be gone at the snap of my finger, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Wait a minute. Yeah, bro. Don't make me do get Sam for this review. Don't no, make. No, no, please. I, I fucking will, bro. I fucking will. That's good. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. D dude, don't, don't let me get Universal <laughs> Banana, that nine-year-old I met on Valent. Don't, you know, don't, don't make him be your replacement, bro. You're gonna upload that video. Or you're just gonna. <laughs> I'm uploading that. It's... Why, bro? <laughs> it contains a nine-year-old saying slurs. We don't need that. Okay, you're right. I, I don't need. That, I don't need that on my channel, bro. I kind, of, I kind of forgot that was. That yeah, that, that was happened. before. You know, I started recording before that the those came out. <laughs> you know, I'm. I'm. By the way, I'm very. Di 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 I'm very displeased uh, in his behavior, no! and I don't endorse it. That's all I gotta say no, on this. I do. You know, I, you're right. I don't endorse it. I don't endorse Universal Banana, the nine-year-old from Texas behavior. I don't endorse it whatsoever. No. Personally, Anyways. I'm very much against it. Yeah, you know the whole. <laughs> The whole, you know, twin brothers saying the, 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 the that one word, that one might word, rhyme yeah. with some other words or whatever. You know, like, I just don't vibe with that, me personally. Me On to the personally. review. 
This review is about a woman, I believe. I'm gonna mispronounce the name, but I do not care. But I might pronounce it right. I don't know, named Oedipamas. Of course, you'd be like, oh my god, Oedipus. It's like, you know, honestly, I can't really find a connection to her in Oedipus, really? So, I'm just gonna ignore that in person. Who are you talking about? Who? <laughs> Uh, the name, the main, the name, the main character in the book is Edipa Moss. That's really all we gotta know, okay? That's the main oh, okay. character. Um, she used to date this guy. <laughs> okay, I forget. <laughs> she used to date this guy. <laughs> so, I don't remember. she used to date this, like, guy who has, like, either, like, a millionaire or a billionaire. I don't know. He has a lot of money, and, but he died. And now she okay. has a husband who she is married with as their husband and wife, by the way. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, bro. It go it goes pretty deep. Okay. Um. You. <laughs> oh, Fresh Book Review. Like this is the like this game where such shit is happening. This is like the worst way to review of anything ever. No, it's the best. It's so hot in my room. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn on a fan, bro. It's. I need. I need to get up. That's the issue here. I want. Dude, did you see that person on Twitter? They did. They got blood clots. Aspen got blood clots. Why? I think it's because they, they didn't move out of their chair. <laughs> well, that's a bad problem. They get up in a once in a while. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like, 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 what if I sleep in a? Well, what, what if I like, like, now, now I'm, now I'm not, I've been thinking about airplanes, bro. And it's like, wait, what if I'm just like on an airplane and then I get blood clots because of it? You can't, like, I don't get like to get up. I don't airplane, like to get up during airplanes, you know. I, I have the. I have like a bladder of a god, you know, I don't need to go to the bathroom. Dude, I have like, dude, I don't have the bladder of a god, that's the problem. Yeah, well, I don't like, and also airplane bathrooms, I just don't trust them, you know? Yeah, that's Like, you hear so many stories of people be like, oh, oh yeah, like, you know, we killed a man in there, you know, ah, put his body uh, in the toilet, they didn't find him. Like, uh, I, you know, I don't want to deal with that Genji, so I'm just going to deal with that Genji. <laughs> we're talking about, we're, are we talking about a book? Are, are we yeah, really doing good. that? Yeah, bro, it's a book review. Okay, so she has a husband named like Mucho or Macho, some cool last name like that. Mm. Um, and well, I think her boyfriend's name was like Inveriority or something. Inverity. What kind of fucking name is that? Dude, bro, bro, Finch is like <laughs> kind of known for his weird ass names. In, in the in Gravity's Rainbow, the main the main character's name was like Slop Rop. It was awesome. Slop Rop, dude. Yeah, bro, he was the goat. Like that that's the kind of book I can throw review on just because like a book like that. And it's been over a year, that's not happening, you know? No, you can, you can pull it out. Like, <laughs> I, I really can, it's like 700 it. pages. No, you can it's be like, like nearing 800 pages or something, it's like... It, 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 it's like a, you know, it's, it, I can't re like, I'd have to reread it, bro. And I don't plan on rereading it for at least another, at least until I graduate high school, bro. I need to wait till then. But, uh... So, yeah, this book, um... I enjoyed reading it. Anyways, more about the book. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, um, yeah, again, it's been a bit since I read it. Okay, okay, stop sidestepping. Let's get to the review. Where's the mercy, yeah, come on, Dad? Buddy. Dad. Yeah, I'm going 20 and 3. Going 18 5. Wow. It's, no, it's pretty good, pretty good. So, the, her, her former boyfriend, he dies. And, Ooh, and he makes her the executioner of his will even though she's like she doesn't do that shit right the co-executioner maybe i don't know she she she, she she's able to work with someone else I, I believe and so she's like well what the heck i need to sort out through all my ex's stuff oh and by the way he has like a ton of money a ton of properties and all that shit and, you know like a stamp collection he needed to sort through all that this guy died what but he died, he's rich, bro. Uh, I don't know how he died. I, I don't think that's said. Okay, well, he fucking got smoked. Well, it, it's fucking nailed, bro. I can't do anything about that. Bro, language, bro. No, no, sorry, my fucking review, bro. Oh, Don't my appreciate bad, bro. it. I didn't need it. You um, sent me a snap, Minister? What'd you send me, bro? What? What'd you send me on snap? Oh, bro, you, you, sent, me the, you sent me a snap that said, fuck you, so I'd have returned the favor. Dude, why'd your finger so long? <laughs> I put it close to the camera. I put this <laughs> to camera and use the fucking lot the lines that makes it look long if it's really close. Dude. I hit you with the the lot the slim gym <laughs> finger, bro. <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> uh, I like that picture. Too bad it gets deleted. Thanks, Snap. You Anyways, you can save this up. You just don't know how to do it. But, bro, I, I I just got the app yesterday, bro, and I kind of don't care. 
What did you do? Because you do want to figure it out, clearly. Well, you know, yeah, if you want to screenshot, you can screenshot. I don't give a fuck. I already closed it, bro. It's gone. Oh, it's already gone? Yeah, bro. Well, what can you do, in my opinion? Um. Who heals their team? Like, oh my god. <laughs> We're doing a review, by the way. Yeah, you know, professional. Time to get. How? We're 10 minutes in? Bro, you ever. How? The review's just started. I haven't even, like, given the exposition yet, bro. So it starts out. I think it starts out at a fucking Tupperware party, which I thought was hilarious. Dude, Tupperware party. Like, unless I read that wrong, I pretty sure it says a Tupperware party. It's like, you know, that's a good way to set up. Oh, did we lose? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, that, that's a good way to set up the, the satire, you know what I'm saying? W Moria def. Yeah, I'd have to agree, not my fault. GG's. No, no, mm -mm. Okay. Back to the book. Bro, my... My bro, d doing a review like this, like, make your brain, like, fracture itself. <laughs> this is messed up, man. Oh. Dude, why, why do you think I restarted mine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but there's no restarts. We're already 10 minutes, 11 minutes in. We can't restart this. We're like seconds into it. We're 10 minutes in. We can't restart. <laughs> We're like 10 seconds in. You just restarted. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay. So, she's like, damn. Mucho slash macho, whatever your name is. I gotta skip out of here. Go to SoCal, Southern California. I don't know. She goes somewhere in California to be like, yo, I need to figure out this whole will thing. Now, you're going to have to forgive me because I don't know the order of any of the events or really the names of many of the characters and the whole, like, Jacobian play thing. Like, I forgot all that. So just or, bear with me, please. She meets this dude. Snapchat notification. Hold up. Sorry, no review. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Pause. Oh, that's from fucking Team Snapchat. Oh, wait. Wait, but I didn't get a... Your snap was saved in chat. You may press and hold to do- Bro, that's me! Dude, it's you. D Wait, how did you save it? I thought you said you couldn't save it anymore. Oh, I figured it out. Crazy. Send. Like What's this? Oh! You can send little stickers! <laughs> okay. That's crazy. Back to the subject at hand here. Mm -hmm. Genji Ball. Okay. Genji. Back the book. Reading books. Reading. Book. Right. Well, where was I? <laughs> where right. was I? Um Tupperware party. Tupperware party. Tupperware yeah, she goes to that. The guy dies. She's like Mucho Macho. I gotta fucking go. At this point in the book. No no no, not yet, not yet, not yet. She not not, not yet. yet. So, and then she goes, and then there's this guy that's, like, also the executor of the will that's supposed to, like, help her because she, you know, doesn't do that stuff. But why am I getting the ball again? She doesn't, like, do that stuff. So, uh, me? Why me, bro? Okay, someone picks... So, send it anywhere but me, please. Thank you. Um. 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 So there's this guy. I forget his name. I think they're in, like, a motel or something like that. And there's this... And they're, and they're, like, watching this movie where he's, like, a kid in it. And the dude's, like, really fucking hot. And they're, like, hey, the more I tell you about me in the movie, <laughs> I think we should end the review here. No, <laughs> no. Like, so bro, good. bro, it's been too long. It's been too long. I forgot. <laughs> It's like a movie about like, okay, so th there's like some movie they're watching on the TV, it's about like a submarine or something, and they're like, guys, they're like, I really like a happy ending, I don't know, and they're like trading information by doing like, st they're like stripping their clothes off, but she puts on like a ton of fucking clothes, so she doesn't actually need to do it, and, and, and then something might happen, I, I forgot what, I forgot what she gained from that little dude, no, she gained everything about the TV show, I don't know what he was asking her then, um, I think they might have drank alcohol, Maybe. No. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> we should we should do the John Dick review instead. I think. Yeah, dude, I can't. Why do a quick switch over? Just you start talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Go. Yeah, so, John Wick starts off with you know John Wick. 
He's like grieving over his wife because they just died. Wah wah. <laughs> yeah, wah wah. L. That's Um. He's like, oh, dude, I'm so sad. He goes home. He cries. No, oh, wait, I missed the very important part. He goes to a gas station, right? And this guy's like, how much is your car? Because he has a really nice car. He's like, not for sale. And, and then he speaks to him in Russian. And John, he's like, he speaks back in Russian. And everyone's like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh. I won. Uh, oh. Oh, my what? God. A dude. Okay, continue. Okay. And then he goes home. He's all sad and whatnot. And then he gets a knock at the door. <laughs> and he gets <laughs> fucking stupid. What? Uh, <laughs> bro, you insta died, bro. First Genji out. You're that's sad. That's sad, bro. Third, okay, are you in third person right now? Yeah, bro, I'm in third person. Why is it in third person? Bro, you're just not built for this. Okay, well, going back to John Wick. Okay. Okay, he gets home. He's crying. He's sad. My wife's dead. Um. What? <laughs> <gets a> <laughs> yeah, what? He gets a knock at the door, and um, there's this there's a delivery person like this, your wife left you this, and he just gets a puppy. He's like, oh, it's a really cute puppy. You know, it's a beagle. I love this thing, right? Did he name it Bagel? Because that's like the least original name for a beagle. I don't think he named it. He might have. I don't remember. What was the dog's name? I don't remember. What? I'm sorry. He doesn't name the second dog either. So. Just that's a, that's a second right no! dude you spoiled it bro, I'm sorry. bro i was gonna watch sorry. don i was gonna watch john's dick bro you ruined it for me <laughs> I re I'm how sorry, do i bro. see john's dick now okay continue continue okay so uh, you know, a few days go by he's like damn i really love this puppy yeah <laughs> and the guy who was at the gas is like how much is your car he breaks into his house with a bunch of goons and they beat up john wick and they kill his dog and they steal his car Wah wah. Wah wah. And so the guy that, you know, beat up his, you know, beat him up or whatnot, he goes back to his dad. No, no, no. He goes to a shop first. He's like, hey, how much could you do to fix this car? He's like, oh, that's John Wick's car. I won't fix it. And he doesn't fix it. And then the guy was like, I won't fix your car, calls that guy's dad. And he's like, your son stole John Wick's car and killed his puppy. He's like, shit. Yeah. And, uh, bro, they won't so, give me yeah. a widow. They won't give me a widow. I asked and they just <laughs> didn't, bro. Okay, that's unfortunate for you. Stay close. I can't are we doing a book review? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing a book review. Yeah. Okay. I've been doing differential equations all day. Let me have at least. <laughs> What's checkpoint? Damn. Hello there. So, anyways. This guy's dad is talks to his son. He's like, I don't care what you did. It's who you did it to. Because, uh, lo and behold, John Wick is like the assassin ever of all time. And he's just, you know, he's retired. How old is he? I don't know. How old he, is he? he got, I don't know how old John Wick is. How old is the actor in this first movie? What he's acting in it? I don't know. Why would I know this, bro? Well, because that would be how old John Wick really is. Because that's how old the actor that's is. That's just not know. true. I mean, it would make sense, though. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You know, the character's an extension of the May, actor, maybe. May player. May player. Okay, anyways, back to the book review. Um, okay. So, they're like, they, they do that, and there's this, like, bands called the Paranoids. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool. And then they, like, go somewhere with a boat. And then they crash somewhere, and they're like, whoa, there are these, like, there's, like, this fight. And then they go to this bar. And maybe and it's like a nerd bar and these guys use like an underground mail system. There's like a weird thingy in the restroom and she's like, well, what's this about? And then like, um, uh, um, um, uh, okay, I skipped over a lot of the book just there. Uh, that's fine. We didn't need that. You know, we're already not 20 minutes in the review, so we might need to do a bit of skipping like that. What okay. can you do? What that go dragon? Go dragon. Go dragon. That kills three at least. Uh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's. I'm a little rusty on this book. It's been a hot minute. Ah. Uh, 
<laughs> so like they're at this like they, there's like a plaque maybe it's it's one of them various properties you know they gotta go there to figure shit out and they're like well and, and so slowly this uh, edipo is like whoa weird stuff be happening awkward um, yeah, awkward, awkward. That just happened. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I can't hit one shot. Wait, watch this. Buzzing. Buzzoom. Buzzwhipper. Okay. Oh, so I was gonna headshot the soldier, but you know, would've got there first. But you know, yeah, trust me, I would've gotten John it. Anyway, back to John Wick. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, John looks like a super assassin that just retired because he met his wife. He loved his wife. And his wife died. He's sad. And like, yeah, this kind of just breaks John Wick. Wait, why did he love his wife? Because he loved his wife. Did he like like her or something? Yeah, dude, I think he like liked her. Oh, no, did he like liked liked her? <laughs> oh dude, shit! So. Oh shit! That's cute, bro. That's yeah. cute. Dude, they should go to prom together, bro. Yeah, that'd be awesome. John Wick um, 5 <laughs> Prom Night. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. He would take the ghost of his wife to prom. Yeah. Oh, but he can just walk through that door. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a bad dragon. Wah wah sort of dragon. <laughs> wah wah. So, anyway, this, you know, he goes into his basement. He brings out a sledgehammer, right? Mm hmm. And then he uh, he breaks the floor, and there's like this ca wooden case full of like guns and shit. And he's like, time to go crazy, go stupid, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so this way I get things get a bit fuzzy. Okay, um, well in that case, back to the book review. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so in the book, uh, at the little mail place. Oh, you got him. They're like, the, the there's like a dude, and she talks to him. I think he also has a funny kind of name that I liked. I forgot it though. You forgot. That. No, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll call him a different funny name instead, like, I don't know, John. Oh my god, Sombra, L, L, what a loser. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! So, he's like, oh yeah, there's this one time where, like, this mail guy, I hate the U USPS, they, like, they, they stare at mail, that they, they knocked out the private mail carriers, they got fucked. Uh, wah, wah, wah. And wing. then, uh... Hello. Ah! Ooh, I got got. What was I? Oh, oh yeah, there's a male. Then I found like some dude that was like uh, he like he was like the last guy fighting. I fucking hate Sober. I'm gonna kill Sober. Okay. Maybe there was like the Civil War or something, and the guy was for the South, and he went somewhere, but the Civil War already ended. But he didn't know because he was on a boat, and they didn't have you know phones, and so he was like, "I'm still fighting." And then he was like, "I he's on his bow, and he like I think he loses the fight or something like that." Who are you talking about? I kind of just zoned out for a second. Back to the John Wick review. Okay, back to John Wick. Uh, let me see if I can remember what happens, actually. Oh, yes, I remember, sir. I remember. He goes to this place called the Continental, which is basically a hotel for assassins. Piece of shit. Oh my... Yeah, yeah that's cool, bro. He's like, he's like, oh, dude, I need to get stocked up. He gets a new suit, he gets guns and whatnot. It's so hot in my room. Just turn off I'm like my, my face is sweating. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're gaming too hard. <laughs> no, it's it's I'm actually burning. I have a sweater on too. Take it off. It's gotta be like 90 degrees in here. I'm telling you, bro. My my room does have like it's over the base of the base doesn't have insulation, and the my the, the place between my basement does have insulation, and therefore all the heat goes up, and then it goes in my room. Dude, it's just a video. It's just quick play. I'm gonna have a stroke. Play. It's just quick play. I'm not- I'm not sweating IRL! I- No, I'm not sweating in the game, I'm sweating IRL from the heat. Yeah, from sweating in game. No, I'm not sweating in the game, bro! I think you are, bro. Bro, j just cause I'm the GOAT yeah. doesn't mean I'm sweating, bro. I think it means you're sweating. I, I just play- OH! I cancel the MP! Oh my god, he's the GOAT! <laughs> we still lost! <laughs> Got rid of the MP, though. Oh, I- I feel sticky. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the Continental about Assassin's uh, Assassin Hotel? Continental yeah, Hotel for Assassins, we're like, you know, you can't do business on the grounds or else you'd be executed, cause, you know, bad. Yeah. So he's like, oh, I gotta go find this guy, and, you know, shenanigans ensue. This one really cool Help me! Guy show me! Fight. Show me! Thank you. Okay, well, now I'm not gonna say, you interrupted me. Well, I, 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 I apologize, I'm sorry. That okay, wasn't right okay. of me. 
Okay, so there's this guy played by William Defoe. You might know him as the Goblin from Spider-Man. Yeah, bro. I saw him in the North, man. That movie was awesome. Dude, yeah. He's like, he's this cool sniper guy. Do you think it's trying to kill John Wick? He's actually John Wick's bestest bud. Cool. Yeah, he's like, he saves him. He's like, you know, that's one shot in like, where he's like, John Wick's, you know, he's been shot or whatever. I can't remember why. Yeah. He's laying down. And this one lady. Yeah, she's also trying to kill John Wick for some reason. I forgot. Uh huh. And uh, you know, she's doing it incontinental grounds. Ah! Why would you do that? You're so stupid. I just and... want to say I willed a hacked health pack to just stop being hacked, and it healed me. It was awesome. <laughs> That's but continue. Awesome. He's like, you know, she's trying to kill John Wick on the continental ground, which is very bad, very no, no good. Yeah, I don't allow that. Yeah, so like in my house too, I don't allow assassins. So. Oh yeah. And, you know, William Dafoe being the goat he is, shoots next to John Wick to wake him up, and he's like, oh shit, there's someone trying to kill me. Yeah. And, you know, with one arm, and, you know, wearing nothing but, like, boxers, he, like, incapacitates this woman. Can you, like, see, like, you know, if he's only back, can you, can you like, see his package? Yeah. How's it looking? It's, it's, he's packing, bro. Oh, nice. Yeah, Pynchon didn't yeah. describe any of that, sadly. No, no. Sadly. I'm gonna kill the Sabra! You! Where'd they go? I want them dead. <laughs> I got so jabbed. Uh, okay, we're gonna skip to the end of the movie because I kind of can't remember what happens beforehand. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can fight with that. Uh, so, so I'm having to in the middle now. And he's like, he finds the guy who killed his dog, and he nonchalantly just walks up to him. And he kind of just shoots him in the head. He's like, you stole my car, killed my puppy. He's like, it's just a fucking puppy. And then he kills him. And then he fights this guy's dad. And, you know, they're not they're not very nice to each other for some reason. It's like, Aww. this whole car chase scene happens. You know, they get hit by cars and stuff. You know, they live. And then it's raining and they're on, like, a helicopter pathway. And, uh -huh. you know. John Wick being the chat he is, he takes this guy in mono on mono, no guns, and then he gets stabbed, and then, you know, they're both, like, sitting down, stabbed, you're like, you know, so it's nice seeing you, and then John Wick walks away. He gets, <laughs> he walks into a conveniently located vet, patches himself up, and then he gets a new dog. Is and it a beagle? No, it's a bulldog. Bulldog? Mm -hmm. Do you need peaches? He doesn't name the dog. Does he not know how to own a dog? What, does he not he lock calls, it either? He just calls him, come here, boy. His name's just boy. I mean, I wouldn't name my dog boy, but I'm at you do you. Okay, well, with, do you want to do an outro before I continue to the rest of the fucking book review? You want to do a quick outro? Yeah, let's do a quick outro, bro. Bro, do your outro. Oh, so anyways, uh, John Wick, he walks away into the, you know, the night. The movie ends. You know, there's, uh, there's three more after this. I haven't seen the last one. Welcome to Paris. Um, yeah. You know, uh, that's the movie. It was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Okay. Out of 17 stars. That's going to be the new star meta. What okay, give I'd, give it, I'd give it a 15. 15 out of 17? Damn. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. <laughs> nice. Okay, back you to say the... the fourth one. Okay, back to the book review. You're right. Okay, back to you know you can talk about the fourth one after I'm done doing my my <laughs> spiel. Um, can I also skip to the end? <laughs> yeah, sure, go ahead. Not nah, <laughs> there's too much shit that happens. Um, um, okay, we're just gonna hit the high notes of what I actually remember. Okay. So, there's some play that the paranoid scene they tell Edip about, and the paranoids are awesome. And they're like, wah, 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 wah. And then Oedipus like, I gotta see it then. And so, she goes and watches it with the dude who played strip questionnaire with her. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, and it was it was like a revenge play. I'm gonna be honest. I can't get into details. It was a Jacobian wow. play. There's some scholar about that book in this book. Um, and like for like there's a whole chapter of just the play. Um, I liked that chapter. I thought it was pretty f interesting. 
Mm -hmm. um, what was the play about? We did not have time. I mean, it was about so there's like a, there was like a big there was like people and they like heard stab like, hit each other and they and this is like you know they're like ah and some it's like a riff, and they kill each other. And, uh, yeah. 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 Is it the end? Mm-hmm. Hmm, we did it. No, no, no. That's Stop. the end of the play. Oh. Not, okay. not the review. Uh. Um. So she watches that play. She's like, "Whoa, crazy ass play." And then she's like, "Wait, maybe I see similarities in the play." No, she's there's like a line in the play that like doesn't match up with something or doesn't make sense. No, it like it talks about something and she thinks it's kind of about maybe the thing that happens once about the boat guy civil war bro mail service and then there's like an underground society of those male people and there's something about them not there's like a male thing, <laughs> <laughs> male thing. Uh, yeah. see this book about the main character being confused kind of after a month of not it wasn't a month it's got to be three months uh <laughs> It, basically, I'm confused now. No, if, if if I was fresh off the block of reading this thing, I I'm sure this review would be a little better. Man, this might be a new low, and that's surprising for us. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. No, if we take if we splice the parts out of me doing the John Wick review and only upload that, I think it could be great. I mean, that's pretty short though. You went pretty fast. Oh well, yeah, because I kind of forgot half the movie. Yeah, I kind of forgot half this fucking <laughs> book, bro. Bro, all timers patience do a book review? Holy crap, that's hype. Dude, the Alzheimer's review. <laughs> <laughs> Watch a book again. Hey, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Okay, back to the review. Ooh, Numbani. Um. Uh, back to the John Wick review. <laughs> I finished, it's over. Um. <laughs> So, she like, so there's this one part where like, Macho sends her a male thing. Oh, wait, by the way, so her doctor is like trying to get her psychiatrist is trying to get her to like take LSD, I believe, for like an experiment on people, wives, I think, potentially. And she's a wife to a man. So she's like, I'm not gonna do that experiment though. That's weird. I'm here for like psychiatric help or something like that. You know, and he's like, okay. And later, Macho is like, I'm male. Hey, by the way, I'm doing it. I'm doing the LST thing. And she's like, well, you know, they don't talk. Oh, Macho's for, like, the, the radio. He's, like, a radio dude. He's like, hey, KOT1, 2.35, 21, you know? He's that kind of guy. <laughs> dude, he's that kind of guy. Yeah, and so she goes to the therapist guy at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not doing well. <laughs> he, like, has a guy who's trying to, like, shoot and kill people. And then she's in his ho office as a hostage. And she's like talking to him or what, whatever. Uh, don't worry, I won't let him get a tick. I'm not letting that happen. Hey, what about Mercy? They kind of left me. Man, oh, I he might be taking the drug. Might be. You can't remember. Yeah. And she's like, they're talking. I'm gonna be honest. She's going on about sub. Maybe the Nazis. He might be talking about them. Dude, it's really getting fuzzy. It's getting really fuzzy. <laughs> Let's skip to the end of the book. No! 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 <laughs> no! Okay. No! Okay. Look, I set out to do a book review. I'm gonna do it to the best of my abilities. <laughs> Even I, if those aren't good. Can I make a thumbnail for this one? Uh, is it gonna be good? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Sure. Right. If I'm allowed to add to the thumbnail. Not alter it but like not like remove things but add to it if i want to yeah i know if you want if you see anything that needs to be added you can yeah if i'm like well you know i want greg heffley in this thumbnail i can put greg heffley in yeah you uh, can put greg heffley in if you okay, want okay him. sounds good um <laughs> so 
uh, hey. the police come or something, and he, you know, I'm pretty sure the psychiatrist guy, he talks. If I remember correctly. Does he? That's crazy. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Dude, it's really fuzzy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really hot. <laughs> Just turn off this hand, oh my god. I'm gaming, I can't leave in the middle of the review, bro. I'm like an artist dedicated to the craft, man. I can't just stop the review, bro. It takes two seconds, bro. Yeah, and in that two seconds, all my viewers will leave. Because they'll be like, my attention span is gone, I am bored. So, I simply can't do it, I'm sorry. He simply just can't, okay. And then Macho is like, I'm on LSD. It's like, you saw like 20 men in a room. And he's like, yeah, I'm on LSD. It's like, he becomes like everyone, bro. It, it's crazy. It's talking about like, like, the, the, like, he now communicates. Oh, God, there's Maxwell's demon. I, oh, fuck. I don't even know what that thing is, bro. What the fuck is Maxwell's demon? It's some stupid thing that defies thermodynamics and it's in the book um huh dude i can't do this right now i can't do this right now skip to the end dude, it's like, the whole the whole book is about the journey man the ending is just like she goes to an auction and it's just and they wait to hear the crying of lot 49 oh my god that's the title like that that's the end yeah, you're spoiling it bro you so. spoil john wick <laughs> <laughs> um oh i missed those Shit. Um, so he's like, him taking LSD has made communication between her and him much harder. That is what I'm gonna boil it down to. I do not care to elaborate. Okay. You know, if I was on LSD, I'd be much harder to communicate with you. <laughs> well, he's like, <laughs> it's whatever. Oh, by the way, she's like, walks into like this me this place and she has a. So there's a symbol, right? No. I can't even remember the name of the group, bro. I can't even remember the name of the central group in the book. Man, it's like, I want LSD. Holy shit, this is crazy, bro. You're so good at You're so good at these book reviews, and you do them on time, all the time. <laughs> bro, you're so, you're so mean. You're so mean. You're so mean. Well, at least, like, what, two months since I've seen John Wick. At least I remember somewhat of the plot. This book's so... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the main character's name at it, but Moss remembered that one. Tupperware party in the brain. Just saying. Saying. Oh, my face, bro. I need a shower. I need to get this filth off of me. <laughs> Jesus. Just turn on the fan, bro. I. Dude, I think I'm in too deep. Like, moving hot <laughs> air is just hot air, man. Shit. Ryan is dog into their team. Mm. <clears throat> Should probably switch. Honestly, I think I'm the problem. When I hit tab, that's what I'm seeing. But you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna point that out. I'm top rag of the lobby. I don't think I'm the problem. Yeah, I'm like just do it horribly. <laughs> it's absolute absolutely horrible. Really horribly. Oh my god. You know who's a character that might I just might be able to just like no think. Junk rat, here we go. No junk. Okay. So that happens with Macho. And also Macho, he sent her an envelope that had a stamp on it where something was altered. So it's like, wait a minute, is he part of this grand conspiracy? By the way, there's like this grand conspiracy going on, and she's like, and very he might be behind all of it. Who knows? Um no. she, like this could be like a massive troll on her, her, or this could all be real. She really doesn't know. She's like having a mental breakdown. Uh, the, the the person who like made a play, um, I think they like they're either killed or they kill themselves, or it might not even been the person that made the play that does that. I forget. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't think. I can't think. I've been listening to you talk about nothing for so long. <laughs> Talking about nothing, bro. <laughs> Dude, the viewers want this, bro. They want the five and three junk gameplay six minutes in the game, bro. This is what they're here for. <laughs> this is the one specialty, bro. Oh my god. You know, talking about nothing. That, 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 oh my god, we can relate that to the book. Oh, wow. Um, 
There's a thing called like Maxwell's Doom. She talks to this guy and he's like, hey, wow, I'm sexy. She's like, no, then she runs away. But before that, she tries to do this thing where she needs a thing to make Maxwell's demon like move some particles or some shit. She's not able to do it. But she thinks she might have it down the on like one of the left vessels of the thing that needs to move, but she can't really do it. And so it's like she to figure this thing out is needing to communicate with this thingy that she can't really do. Ah! I didn't win, bro. I didn't win it. I didn't win the dub. Okay, stop losing. Oh, I'm so sweaty. Oh, it's like a swamp. Bro, I'm the creature from the deep lagoon. This is all going on YouTube. You have to remember that. I feel disgusting. Put that on YouTube, bro. What? Huh? Okay, okay, anyways. Bro. Okay. Sure, keep going. There's like a stamp collection, they look at them. Then keep the going. stamps are gonna be sold at an auction. Then, oh, before the Oedipus having like, just this horrible time. She's going insane, she's like, please, I met you at the bar, please. Like, it's, it's like this lesbian or gay bar, or something called like the Greek way or the Roman way. Mm. Um, there's this dude there. I liked that guy. I thought he was cool. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, and they talked at some point in the book, then later they talk again, she's, you know, she's like sky around looking for this symbol, um, WASTE! W-A-S-T-E, that's the name, that's the acronym, BOOM! Bazinga, I did Buzz. it, uh, it's like the symbol of like a trumpet, it's like a, a horn, that, it's a muted horn, it's a muted horn, anyways, like the whole, there's like, there's also a side, I don't really like male, Whatever. She's like have basically she's having this like horrible she's like going insane over this thing, man. She's like you know, it's like ruining her life, it's ruining other people's life, you know, that like the like the, the the time period that this is in and the place is in is creating like issues of talking and communication with everybody there. I guess. Yeah. Man, I really like that bit about Mucho saying like 20 men. Like, I, I really like that bit. But sadly, I can't yeah, talk I about it because I forgot really what the point of it is. Sorry. You forgot the point of hot 20 men, bro. But I didn't say hot 20 men, but sure. <laughs> you, you, you know what you said. I'm talking about Macho, bro. What are you on about? Um. And then she goes to an auction house and they're like, hey, let's figure this shit out, because of this other things, and then the end. Okay. By the way, there's like this book about Jacobian plays. Okay. That's one. See, on the flip side, you want you to do your outro, bro. Oh, oh, uh, Bye, chat. It's been a good yeah, flip side.